Broadway.com. We meet again. This is episode seven, so clearly things have gotten very serious. And this is actually a very fun episode for me because, of course, I give the typical backstage access here at the theater, but I mostly am just kind of letting you into my life when I'm not working, and these are some of my favorite things to do. So, check it out. All right, guys, it's Wednesday night after Broadway. Hello. I am with Alexandria Suarez, who plays little Gloria. Greetings. We are about to FaceTime Gloria because it's actually her birthday, starting at midnight. How old are you? You're 16. 16. She's 16. And tell the beautiful people of Broadway.com how it feels to be 16 and a star on Broadway. It the feels Broadway. great. I mean... What are you, Mangle? <laughs> we are being really crazy. We are using a camera and FaceTiming at the same time. We're yelling, but we love you. Look, we're, we're shooting a video observer. Right now? That is amazing. She looks like a badass. I mean, she is a badass. She's directing her daughter's video right now while we're faced. This Casual. is really like. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I started too loud, too high. Happy birthday. Wait, we need to ask one question. Okay. What is, of, of the desserts, what is your favorite dessert? Like, would it be cookies, cupcakes, cake? Because we're going to bake tomorrow for your birthday for the theater. I love any dessert. Perfect. Chocolate. 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 Done. Okay, we love you. Perfect. Have fun. Queen nothing. Bye. Queen nothing. Oh, my God. Now we just have to start baking something chocolate. Brownies. Chocolate cake, double chocolate cake. I got it. Oh, yeah. Chocolate cake with brownie in the middle and maybe crumbled Oreo in the middle. Very accelerated thought. We're having a slumber party. I don't know if I mentioned that part. Yes. But you were saying, how does it feel to, um, to be 16 and to be a Broadway star? It's inexplicable. It's amazing. I don't know. It's great. And I how just, do you make it happen? Actually, we were doing something today in Circle and mm -hmm. Eliseo Roman, wonderful. He plays our wonderful dad in every... Character. We love him. Amazing. He's amazing. He asked us to say a word that inspires us each day or a word that reminds us of making things happen. And I yeah. said pulse. Every morning I think of that word and that just gets me going because that you brand so many things off of the word pulse, you know. And um, watermelon. She's smart, that one. You're recording. Hello. Okay, so we're obviously... Alexandria Suarez has taken over my camera. Making a fresh one. Because it's one in the morning, and we're listening to Frank Ocean, and we're making guacamole on a Wednesday. This is what happens on Broadway. <laughs> Beautiful. The best part of making a cake, especially when it's chocolate on chocolate on chocolate on chocolate, is the frosting party. And we're doing a layer, so it's two layers of chocolate cake, which are being leveled. Um, and then the center layer will be... Um, brownie with caramel, salted caramel, and then we're putting on the insides of like the layers whipped chocolate frosting with crumbled Oreo things. How's that going, Alex? It's going very well. Iron Chef America happening right about now. Texturing, the precision, the squeeze. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Beads of sweat forming. Nice. That's really cute. Lovely. I love it. Just to witness the genius. Where are we right now? We're at the bowling alley. We're doing Broadway bowling. Broadway bowling. Show me the back of your shirt. Yes, on your feet. What's up, Broadway bowling? Broadway bowling. How excited are you about Broadway bowling? You love athletics. That's okay. That's one way to be excited. Jose Rosario. Bowling. That was the interpretive dance. I'm mostly supervising and supporting the troops. That's why I just sit on the sidelines. There's great music. There's a great vibe. And everybody from Broadway is here. So...
and we get to be on Broadway, and we get to do concerts on Broadway, and she gets to play Gloria Stephon sometimes too, and it's amazing, and I love sharing that with her because she's the best. I love you. Let's do a concert. Let's do a concert. We are at Mendez Boxing. I am with the inimitable Luis Salgado, and I'm the world's worst jump roper, but that's how we warm up when we're boxing. So, well, let's see, let's see what your skills are right now. Okay, this is amazing. The very first time she came in, she did one, one, and now she's doing like ten at a time. Good, baby steps. Cuenta, Ana, qué está pasando ahora? We're getting our wraps on. I'm getting my wraps done by the pro. Por el lado. Oh, qué bien. Oh, yo le pasé. How is she doing as a student? Tell me. She's doing very good. Very good. She got that BB. She got a puncher. Be careful, people outside. <laughs> minutes before rehearsal to eat Anna, an omelet. thank you for my birthday gift. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I have I an love omelet. You. I have a question, Luis. First of all, how many things do you have going on at the same time, usually? Usually. This year has been a, a blessing of a year. I what mean, have your projects been? Uh, I just finished uh, doing Zuccotti Park, the musical for the French Festival. Um, this year I did Bountiful, I did the Dirty Dancing film. Uh, I don't know, mostly I was doing three or four projects at the same time, done. He's insane. And how do you make it happen? Because you always seem to have boundless energy boundless and a energy. smile on your face. Which my is son, my son and my wife and my best friend Heather Hogan, they help me make everything happen. My son because he gives me balance like you always talk about. My wife because she's my right hand and Heather Hogan because everything that I don't want to deal with, she deals with. I mean, I, I, let's just say he's goals. Luis Salgado is goals. I love you. I love you. Mwah. You guys, it's the first show of the week. What? I don't know how this keeps happening to me, that it's always Tuesday. I actually just got back from Miami. I was uh, gone for Labor Day, but I was at the airport this morning and I stumbled across a little something. Ah! Hold on, I haven't seen Sarah, and I'm, this is very exciting. Sarah, of course, you all know is my dresser. Hi! Oh, I missed you so much. I missed you more. Yeah. While I was in Miami, I was told um, that the new People in Espanol uh, is featuring a couple Broadway people, including myself. So I'm stoked to share, especially right now, considering that I'm not wearing makeup and my hair is like post airplane. And Javier's in there. Yes, exactly. Yay, so Javier Munoz, Yay. who is of course Hamilton, um, an amazing article on him because he's a badass, like for real. And then little me, <gasps> oh, but looking very glam. God. I know. Very glamorous. And then there's, of course, the <laughs> the inevitable. Anna. I know. Scandalous photos. But um, not too scandalous, of course. So it's very exciting. So they talk about, like, what I use on my face for the show, as well as um, a movie I have coming out next month and that kind of fun stuff. And then while I was reading on the plane, mm -hmm. look at this. There is a page with Cheetah Rivera and Mickey Mouse. So I'm not mad at that. No, that's I'm in amazing. good company. Javier Munoz, Chi Rivera, Mickey Mouse. I mean, a bunch of other billions of stars, including, of course, Gloria Stefan herself, and me. I, of course, bought multiples, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, bye. I have to go to the show. Bye. All right, you guys, we are backstage right on your feet, like legit during the show. 
Andrea is currently on stage slaying uh, Mi Tierra, and this is called underdressing. Once upon a time, I thought under underdressing meant when you go to an event and you're wearing jeans and everyone else is in a dress. But actually, on Broadway, um, underdressing is when you're wearing layers of clothes. So I'm ready for conga, as you just saw, I was in the red. And this is my date night outfit, because when I go on dates, obviously I like to wear an entire outfit underneath. So in this change, it's called a princess change, we've got Sarah and Jesse. <laughs> Working it with me, making it happen with me, if you will. Um, and then I put on makeup and I drink water and I try to make it on time, so bye! But you're welcome for seeing it. Alright guys, this is usually the part where I answer seven zillion questions from the internet. But instead, tonight I'm only going to answer one person's questions. Her name is Bailey, and I understand she's five years old. This is her, uh, giving a master class on how to perform coming out of the dark, so I'm taking notes. She's adorable. Um, her questions are, one, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. My favorite color has always been blue. It probably will always be blue. Her second question, what is your favorite toy? What is your favorite toy? Uh, I would say that right now my favorite toy is a microphone. Pretty solid toy. But I've always had phases. Like as a kid, I had, um, I was obsessed with my stuffed animals. I even have some stuffed animals here in my dressing room. Um, not from my childhood, but that are gifts. There was a moment where I was really into my American Girl doll, Molly McIntyre. And then there was another phase, which I think I might still be in, which was arts and crafts. Um, so I would go to any art supply store, such as Michael's, and get these boxes with like, it was like a kit that gave you the supplies to do a certain craft. So it could be like the more standard option, like a friendship bracelet kit, or there were these tubes, these like bottles in weird shapes, and they were clear plastic and you would fill them with colored sand, different colored sand, and somehow that was a sand sculpture. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I would still play with those things right now. So yeah, I cannot believe how fast eight weeks have gone. Uh, next week is gonna be kind of epic if I do say so myself. There's a lot happening, but it's very exciting, so be sure to tune in to the eighth and final installment of Make It Happen here again next week, making it happen for On Your Feet on Broadway. Thanks, Broadway.com.